Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge, and welcome to Infection Free Zone, a post-apocalyptic city builder survival game, and the apocalyptic event this time round is a virus that turns people into zombies, a good old classic zombie apocalypse. So we start in the ruins of a city, and then we have to try and scavenge and build and survive and fight off the zombies as best we can. There are buildings to explore and upgrades to carry out, random events pop up that we have to deal with just to keep us on our toes, and really we have to try and keep everybody alive and very very much unzombified. That's our main goal. Now this is the prologue version of the game, which does mean it'll end after eight days of in-game time. We're sort of hard capped to take days, but you know what? That sounds fine to me. That's plenty of time. We can do loads in eight days. It's all going to be good. As always, there is a link to the Steam Store page in the video description where you can go and check the game out a little bit more and also have a go at the prologue yourself if you would like to. But anyway, here we go. Let's dive in, shall we, and try to not get infected with zombieitis. Okay, so first up we have to pick our starting area, which really means we Whereabouts on the planet do you want to go and fight some zombies? And I think in the full version of the game, which this isn't, this is the prologue, but in the full version, you can download maps and then play on those maps. So you could download a map of your hometown or where you live or where you work or whatever, and then go and play on those maps and all the different streets will be in the right place, all the different landmarks will be there. So if you ever really wanted to see what your hometown looked like after a zombie apocalypse, you could do that in this game, download the map and then play on that map which is quite good. I like that. It's one of those games. There's a few that do that now, but uh, yeah, that's quite fun. However, in the prologue that we're playing now, we only have access to these six locations here. So we're USA, France, UK, Germany, and then a couple of locations in China. I think because I'm in the UK, we shall go to the UK one. Let's go and have a little look at what Cambridge looks like after a zombie apocalypse, shall we? That's going to be fun. Sorry, Cambridge. You can look a little bit kind of ruined, but there we go. We'll go and try and sort it out a little bit and breathe a bit of life back into Cambridge. Cambridge. Okay, in terms of game customization, all we can change are these three things here. So the amount of people we begin with, the amount of resources we pick up, and then I assume the difficulty of the zombie hordes that are going to come toward us and try to eat our brains or whatever. And if we notch them down a bit, it becomes a bit trickier. And if we notch things up a bit, it becomes a bit easy. So I think what we'll do is, given that we've never ever played this before, I've got no idea what I'm doing, we'll start with the same amount of people. So we'll begin with 40 people, and we'll keep the horde number on one, because that seems sensible. That seems okay. Nice and down the middle, down the line, nice and average. However, to give us a teeny tiny advantage, so we don't get completely wiped out after day one or whatever, we might just give ourselves a tiny boost to the resources we find. So 1.15. I mean, that might be entirely pointless. I've got no idea. If we put it up again, it goes to 1.3, but that does set us on an easy difficulty level, and that might be a little bit too straightforward. So I think to maintain a bit of a challenge, we'll put that just there. So resources increased a tiny bit, but not so much that it makes it easy. So there we go, difficulty level medium. We're gonna start with 40 people, 1.15 resources, and the horde number is at one. It sounds lovely, apart from the brain-eating zombie horde, of course. Okay, here we go. Welcome to Cambridge, everybody. Cambridge does look a little bit run down. You've let yourself go a bit there, Cambridge. Look at that it looks very very broken but you know what there has been a zombie apocalypse so we'll let you off cambridge okay so we've got somebody over here operator this is first squad leader we made our way out the neighborhood looks deserted we'll have to scavenge the nearby buildings for any useful resources sir are you still on the line yeah okay i was just looking around a little bit it looks a little bit worse for wear but okay um yeah look for food because that's our only option okay no. okay find something to eat as fast as possible okay Right, so time is ticking by. Now, because time is ticking by, that does beg the all-important question, is spacebar pause? And yes, I can happily confirm that spacebar is pause. Well done, game. Good job. Okay, let's go and take a look around. So what do we have going on? Because I don't really know what's happening. So I assume we're in that building there. We're hiding out in that building there. So that's like kind of safe house type thing. And it says over here, we've got to scavenge nearby buildings. So turn on scavenge view, select a squad, scavenge buildings for cans. Okay, so go and look for canned food and then return them back to the HQ. Okay, that's HQ. Uh, so what have we got up here then? We've got one objective. We're not doing any research. That's not available. That's the weather, but that's not available. There's no weather in the prologue version. And then we've got a little bit of food. So 23 lots of canned food. We've got some ammunition. We've got some shooty guns. We have no fuel and we've got some building material, so wood and metal, and we have no other materials. Okie doke. Right, so can we have a look around at what's going on? So yeah, it does look quite broken, doesn't it? There's a hospital, that might be quite handy to go and visit. 
nip into there, get some medical supplies. That could be useful. A few buildings over here. And then we're going into sort of fog of war territory. Are we okay? So we're not quite sure about what's over here. There are buildings, but the ground looks sort of misty. So I assume that's kind of out of our range. Okay. It does look very atmospheric, doesn't it? We can't zoom in anymore, unfortunately. I thought maybe we could zoom in and have a bit of a closer look at the broken ruins of Cambridge, but no. Uh, the only thing is I've lost where the base is. There it is. <laughs> Lit up in green very helpfully. Okie doke. Right, so turn on scavenge view. Okay, so there's scavenge view. So many, many question marky things appearing. So I assume... Okay, right, I see what's happening here. So the question marks are over buildings where we have no idea what's in them. So we don't really know what to find in there. But of course, over a hospital, we're potentially going to find medical stuff. That, I assume, was a shop at some point. So we might find food in there. Okay. Okay, so it's showing us, yeah, giving us a little bit of a clue as to what might be in those particular buildings. Is there anything else of note around? Is that another little sort of medical building? Possibly. That might have kind of car bits in it or something. That could be quite fun to visit. Okay. Okay, so I think... I mean, given that that's got a shopping trolley on it, it might make sense to go over there and have a little look around. So if we pick a squad, I assume that is our squad. Okay, squad one, who do we have? We've got Logan Smith. Okay, Logan Smith sounds like the kind of person you'd want in a zombie apocalypse. Logan Smith. And then we've got Joyce Miller. Okay, maybe not Joyce Miller. Joyce Miller isn't the name that springs to mind when you think zombie apocalypse, but okay, she's there as well. And then we've got Tyler Nelson and then Joan Scott. Okay, so we've got some, uh, yeah, four people there just looking at their stats, but no, they've all got, they're all just rookies. They're all just rookies. So I think what's happened is we've just all sort of come out of hiding and yeah, we've been sort of hanging around for a while while the zombies have been doing their thing. And yeah, there's a virus. The virus has kind of, you know, sort of died down a little bit. And then we've come back out of our bunkers or whatever. And now we're trying to have a look around and rebuild society because we're fed up of being underground. So, so uh, scavenge buildings for cans. So right mouse buttons. Okay, so with the squad selected, do we just go like that? Ah, okay, right. And then unpause time. And they're going to have a wander over here. Okay, they come out. Ah, it's the back door around here. Is that a door just there? Yeah, there we go. There's the door. So we're going to go over here, look. Have a little nosy in that building. Okay, so find lots of cans in there, please. Find lots of cans. Now, is that there the line of sight they've got? So if they're in that building, they can shoot at zombies in that area there. Right, hang on. Hang on. Pause time. The building is clear. Ah, we found some stuff. We found two lots of canned food. Okie doke. That's a good thing. I mean, maybe check next door maybe check next door because you know it's really nearby that might be full of food that might be like a canned food factory or something which would be quite handy so go and have a look in there run time on a tiny bit quicker uh so yeah there we go we found another lot this is good and can we find a fourth yes we can okie doke right so now return back to base and they're doing that automatically okie doke wonderful good job squad one uh, okay so the crates are in the hq we have to think what to scavenge first. It would be best to check some shops or warehouses. Okay, we did just nip over to a shop, I think. Uh, okay, I'll point you where to go. Right, so what are we what are we looking for now then? We looked in a shop. We got food out of the shop. Chief, I will speak on behalf of the other citizens. Let's go and adapt the buildings to suitable shelters so we don't spend one more night underground. Yeah, people are a bit fed up of being underground. And do you know what? I'm with you on that. I'm with you on that. So, uh, okay. Adapt buildings into shelters for 40 living quarters. 15 built. Okay, pause time. How do we do that then? So that there would make a perfect little location for some sort of shelter because it's next to the base. That would make sense. How do we do that? What's that? Uh, deconstruct. That's an available. Adapt building. Ah, here we go. Adapt building. Okay, so buildings. Shelter. Okay, so turn that into a shelter please adapt to shelter uh oh we have to click ah right okay so uh it's gonna cost 28 wood that's quite a lot have we got enough how much wood do we have 55 okay so 28 wood for 20 living quarters okay so do that bit there how many people have we got that can go and do building and stuff or is it that team hang on if we unpause time uh ah, no there's a oh there's loads of builders Oh, there's loads of builders. 
Okay, right, there we go. So they've nuked out here and they're going to try and turn that into a shelter for 20 people, was it? So we need to do that to another building. So hang on, you lot nip across the road, maybe, and possibly turn that building, well, give it a quick search, you know, clear out the zombies, get the food out of it, and then maybe turn that into a shelter as well. That would be quite handy. Oh, I see, right. So the blue sort of line moving across it is the progress they're making. Uh, okay, that's pretty good though. So they found some more food. Never a bad thing. Go back over there. Oh, can we rename the squad? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Okay, right. hang on a minute. Hang on. We can name the squad. Hang on. Give me a second. We're going to rename the squad. Let's call them Cupboard Squad. I quite like that. And then we can say, go, go, Cupboard Squad. Yep, that's good. Right. So Cupboard Squad have not gone back home again. I mean, do we just keep them nipping out, just looking for stuff? Maybe they should go just there. Right, Cupboard Squad, head over there, if you would be so kind. That building looks okay. So, can we please turn that into a shelter as well? There's a button down there. Is that just what we press? Oh, ah, right, okay. So that's going to cost 18 wood to turn that into a shelter for 12 people because it's a little bit smaller, which makes perfect sense. Okay, so you do that, please. And then I think, really, we should just keep exploring with these guys. So you found nothing in that building, but the building is clear, which is good. Okay, look around that one. That building looks quite big. So I imagine it's going to take a longer time for them to work their way through that. But that's okay. Maybe if we just clear the buildings in our immediate kind of vicinity... That's going to be quite good. And then we can turn this into our little kind of base of operations. That would be quite handy. Okay, they're running out and getting that done. They're not working so much on that building. I think that's been queued up. I don't think they're doing that one. I can't see any sort of blue. Or is there a bit at the bottom there? That building is definitely being worked on, which is okay. Um, and hang on. There are some people going there. Okay, right. That building is clear. They didn't find anything in there either. That's a bit of a nuisance. Okay, go to there. Oh. Incoming transmission. Uh, okay, so the sun is getting low. We don't know what's going to happen at night. I imagine bad things are going to happen at night. Zombie things. Brains will be eaten. We can continue our scavenging operations in the dark, but what will be way? Oh, but that will be way more dangerous than waiting until sunrise. Uh, we need drugs. Oh yeah, get back to HQ. No, don't hang around at night time. Everyone should be back in HQ. The workers will return home too. An armed civilian should not walk after dark. Absolutely. Yeah, I completely agree. There we go. So, day one of our little eight-day look at the game in the prologue is coming to an end. And I imagine we just sort of hang around now at night time, do we? I mean, it's yeah, six o'clock. Um, Chief, if we want to put anything else, we need more resources. Send workers to chop down some trees. Maybe we could build some palisades with that too. Okie doke. I mean, for now, we're just going to have to wait until, until morning. So, yeah, I think it's time... It's gone a bit weird looking. It's gone a bit strange looking. Okay, so I assume this means it's dark and it's night time. Right, so run time on pretty quickly because we don't really want to do anything while it's dark. Oh, okay, zombies. Okay, right, we found some baddies. So we just saw a group of infected. Okay, for infected, read zombies. They might not be aware of our presence yet. Okay, get ready or hide. Uh, whereabouts are they? They're over there. We're just here. Do you know what? Get ready. It's better to be prepared. Are you there? Oh, I'm, I'm thinking about things, my good sir. Hold fire a second. Get ready, possibly. Right, get ready to fight. I don't know how we do the fighting. How do we do the fighting? They're just having a little mosey around. little wander about. Ooh, that might be worth looking at. There's loads of buildings over there. Uh, what's that? Uh, a teaching facility. Ah, we could find scientific materials in there. That's going to be good for food. Uh, oh, oh, there's more zombies down here. Uh, okay, just having a little roam about. Nothing near us, though. Nothing near us, which is good. That's encouraging. Yeah, there's more sort of booky stuff over there. Okay, there's quite a lot to go and have a look. Yeah, what's that? Findable resources. Um, oh, the other things sort of say what we can find. So, you know, drugs or whatever, or food. That just says findable resources. Hoard spotted. Okay. Are they coming toward us, though? That's the question. That's the important thing. If they're staying over there, that's fine. They nip into the library or something. That's okay. Uh, right, hoard spotted. That's going to keep coming up, isn't it? Oh, right. Hang on a minute. Hang on. They're getting a bit near. They're getting near. Are we going to do some shooting? Do we need to tell you to do shooting? I've got no idea. How does this work, game? <laughs> I assume we're going to shoot at them out the windows. 
They can't get in though. Right, horde spotted. Yeah, right. Okay, so we're up in this building shooting at them. Okay, right. That's fine. Horde eliminated. Hooray, we've killed some zombies. Okay, so is that it now? Uh, what time is it? It's only two o'clock in the morning. Right, run time on nice and quick. Another horde spotted. So let's see, where are they? They're all the way down there. We are going to potentially run out of ammo at some point. Uh, right, here we go. Oh, we are shooting at those ones over there. Ah, that building now has zombies in it, I think. Is that what that means? So that building potentially has zombies in it. Uh, yeah, there's an infestation. It's infected. Okay, right. You lot, you need to go in there and sort that out because that would be bad. Oh, hang on. Incoming transmission. Hang on a second. This night was easy, but there are sure to be some infected around here. We should build some defences before nightfall. Let's build a watchtower. Hang on a minute. Hang on. I've got to build some houses first and chop down some trees. Let's build a watchtower. Add it to the list. Okay, right. Um, So, a big important job number one. Go and deal with the infected zombies in here. So yeah, get rid of all the stuff in here. So infected fighting is happening. We're going to imagine what it's like. It's a dramatic showdown in there. It's amazing in there. Oh, chief, there are signs of smoke. It's coming from a building. I think there might be some people in there. I recommend we go and investigate. Which one of these things would you like us to do first? Because we've been here for a day. And already, you said, let's go investigate that. Can we chop down some trees? Can we do build some shelters? Can we build a tower? Let's go and get some food. H hold on, all right? Hold on a second. Just hold fire there. Right. Trees. So there's a sort of a hatchet thing there. Give orders. Right. Gather wood. So I think, can we chop down that tree? Okay, that tree can go. Sorry, trees of Cambridge. I do apologise, but you need to be chopped down so we can not die. Right. And then that one there. And that one on those ones. Okay, so somebody go and do that. And then, uh, how do we build defences? Headquarters. Oh, right, they're all different things. Food. Oh, there's loads of different things. Oh, okay. Food production. Fields, greenhouses, barns. Got sawmills, tools, factories, arms factories. That might be quite handy. Ah, here we go. Defences. Okay, so wooden palisades. That's quite handy. Uh, but wooden tower. Okay. So where do we build our tower? I mean, maybe along this road here. So we kind of claim that building. But then what if we put it on that crossroads there? So let's build a tower. Yeah, that's got good kind of range on it. Look in the middle there. So if we put a tower there and then we can build sort of palisades around that kind of thing. I think that's what we do. Right. Run time on. You lot keep exploring, however. Incoming transmission. Don't tell me to go and do something else. We should create another squad before we investigate. We can't be sure who we're going to meet there. Okay, create a new squad. Okay, right, hang on then. How do we do that? How do we create another squad? That's cupboard squad. Cupboard squad are exploring around here. Uh, do we click that? Ah, there we go. Create new squad. Okie dokie. Right, so squad two. We've got cupboard squad. Let's have... Uh, Geek Squad, that makes sense. So who's in Geek Squad? Andrea Stewart, Keith Davis, Raymond Wright, and Arthur Price. Okay, they also don't sound like traditional people you would call upon in a zombie apocalypse. Unless maybe you wanted somebody to, you know, do your finances for you. But that's okay, that's fine. Geek Squad are good. So, what time is it? 7.50 in the morning. Geek Squad, um, are they all armed? Yeah, they're all armed. We are down to only two weapons. Do we send Geek Squad all the way over here? I think we do. Brand new assignment for Geek Squad. Please be careful. It's quite a long way. Um, so, yeah, if you see anything interesting, have a little nosy at it. Right, and then we'll get these guys to clear these buildings and then nip over into there and grab some medical supplies. Also, I'd like to get into these buildings too, just to sort of clear them out and make sure they're okay. Uh, oh, we found food, and also we found some ammunition crates. Oh, that's quite handy. That's quite useful. And we're chopping down... Um, we're we chopping down trees? I don't think we are, actually. I think... I think we're building the sort of observation tower, lookout tower thing. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I assume we've run out of wood. Yeah, okay, so go and chop down some trees. That's going to be handy. How are Geek Squad doing? They're looking like they're almost there and they're all still alive, which is quite good. Right, have a nosy in here then. If you can find where the door is. Okay, who's inside? 
Let's go and have a little look. Uh, Chief, we found some survivors. They've been living in terrible conditions for the last few years. We could bring them in, but will we be able to feed them? We're not going to leave them over there. Absolutely bring them in, except the survivors. What kind of people would we be if we just left them behind? Right, there are the survivors. So a neutral group. They will join us. So that is... Uh, how many people is that? Four, maybe? Right, and then you lot, Geek Squad, get back over here. You can go to the hospital, actually, Geek Squad. You can have a look around. They nearly built the lookout tower. So that's going to be a place where we can put some people, I imagine. Looks like it's nearly done. Anytime you like. Just put the roof on quickly. Come on now. Right, are they done? I think, is that building scavenge? Yeah, okay, that's done. So you nip next door. See what's in there. So Cubber Squad can look in there. Geek Squad can get meds and you guys can make your way back to the HQ. Wonderful. I think we've completed the goal to build the shelter. Okay, so that's gone. And we've got the one thing here as well. We've got the tower set up. So now the current goal is to chop down trees to top up our wood supply. I also did notice just here there is some metal that we could possibly grab. There's a, a car there and a lamppost. I don't imagine we need the lamppost anymore. don't imagine they've got any power going to them. So maybe grab that as well. Just grab some metal while we can. Where are you guys going? Oh, they're picking up the wood. Ah, okay, right. So we're chopping it down and then we've got to gather it and bring it back. Okay, this is good. So maybe that will be complete soon. Maybe that'll be complete soon. There is a push to talk thing down here. Okay, what can we do with that? Oh, that's just like a log. Oh, that's okay. Right, that's fine. Right, done. That's all done. That's good. How do we make people come back inside at night time? I want you all to come back inside at night time. How do we recall everybody? Recall, recall everybody go back indoors. <laughs> um, yeah, we've got 26 out of, yeah, 26 people out of 45 that we can house, but people are outside. Maybe when it gets to six o'clock, we have the thing that says, hey, do you want to send people back inside? Or is that just like a, a setting we've now switched on? I think it means everyone goes back inside now. Okay, that's fine. There is a... What's that? There's a pointy arrow there. But I'm not quite sure what it's... Put. Hang on, that squad is still out and about. Oh, both of our squads are out. Hang on. Um, what if we put Cupboard Squad in the tower and then you guys in the main HQ building? All well, the workers have gone in, I think. Which is good. Yeah, the workers have all gone inside because they're not armed. Exactly. Okay, and then... We need these guys to get up into here. So they can do some defending from there. They can do some defending from there. That's all going to be good. Right, okay, so it's done that kind of weird graying out nighttime thing. Let's just run time on pretty quickly. Horde spotted. Until they come and attack us, we'll just sort of leave it going. So it's almost nightfall, and we can already see some infected coming out of their lairs. Okay, get ready. Yeah, we, we knew that. Kill off the hordes. Naught out of one. And I think... That's it already done. However, there's quite a big horde just there. Uh, we are shooting at them from here, which is good. And now that building is also shooting at them. Yeah, the watchtower's got a greater range. Okay, wonderful. Horde eliminated. This is good. Run time one nice and quick. Oh, crikey. We are doing a pretty good job of killing them. But we're going to go through ammo quite sharpish. We could do with finding some more ammunition. That is going to be a bit, a bit of an issue. Right, okay, let's see if we can make it through the night. There's some more zombies there. Shoot, to -ti shoot, dead, to -ti dead, wonderful. Okay, that's interesting. The workers all come out at about five o'clock in the morning. I mean, that's very early. When I mean, there's a zombie apocalypse happening, you don't have to get up that early. Have a lie in, try and enjoy things. Chief, many of our workers don't have any jobs. Send them to gather resources, construct or work at some of the buildings. Work at some of the buildings? Okay, maybe that means like a sawmill or whatever. Um, I think maybe. Hang on. You, uh, you guys can't hold any more. That's, we've left loads of ammo in there. Okay, right, you lot, go and pick up all these things that, um, that yeah, Cupboard Squad left behind. Because, yeah, I think Cupboard Squad, oh, they are a little bit injured, a Cupboard Squad. Are you guys going to heal up? Are you okay? Um, right, there we go. Right, run into there, look. So you guys can go and pick that up. You guys can explore in there. Our workers are out here doing that. However... How much wood have we got? 23. Is it worth then grabbing some trees from over there? Because that'll give them something to do. And then building some palisade things. That might be quite handy. Also grab some metal as well. Got a thing they can grab. The grab metal thing doesn't last very long, does it? You have to kind of keep re-clicking it all the time. But there we go. So a bit like that, look. Grab all those lampposts there. 
because we're not using those either. Right, you lot, you're not holding anything. Yeah, can you go into here? On your way. Why can't you go into there? I'm not quite sure. You guys are full of resources, so you pop back over here. Oh, because time's pause. That's why you're not going into there. <laughs> that's that's why, Penge. That would explain that. So they bring their resources back, drop off the food, which is good. Uh, another incoming transmission. What would you like us to do now? Chief, the survivors that we took in, they have some important info we could use. They speak of various kinds of... Inf hang on, pause time. Various kinds of infected animals they encountered and other groups of survivors too but they've lost people recently. It will take some time for them to integrate. Let me find them some jobs and shelter for them. Please respond. Okay, um, let them rest or interrogate them. No, let them rest. We're being nice. Let them rest. We're not horrible. Everyone's been through a really awful thing. Let's just try and be as kind as we can. Let's try and be nice. Another incoming transmission. Oh my goodness me. To all... Oh, okay, hang on. Pause time. This looks important. To all survivors, the... Infection is in decline. Uh, and Red. Something survivors. Okay, right, hang on. Um, who declines? It's Ifza. It's Ifza. Uh, this is the infection-free zone. Please respond. To all survivors in decline. Is somebody there? Okay, can you hear me? That's a good question. Can you hear me? To all survivors. It sounds like an automated message, doesn't it? Um, is somebody there? Okay, same message. Switch channel then. Um, Chief, this is the same transmission we received before, but the signal is even weaker. Our walkie-talkies are not powerful enough for long-range communication. We have to build a large antenna. A local library or university will be a good place to search for information on how we make it work. And a university, you say? And I'm in Cambridge. Brilliant. Okay, <laughs> that's quite handy, isn't it? Right, you lot, I think, head over to... Hang on a minute, Chief. We just found an assault rifle. This will come in handy against large hordes. Let's just not waste too much ammo on nothing. Okay, that's exciting. How do we how do we equip such a thing? How do we um, how do we equip that? I don't know what we do with that. Um, that's a pistol. That's good. How do we give you a bigger shooty gun? Um, I don't know. There's a down arrow there as well. How do we how do we give you different things? Uh, is that obvious? Do we have to do it in here? Uh, oh, look. Oh, we can assign them to different jobs. Okie doke. Right, there we go. I mean, now we know that's a thing. Um, uh, okay, right. We've got, we've got a rifle. I don't know how to do anything with it, but okay. Right, so you... Oh, it's there. It's there. It's not in the resources yet. We found it in that building. Okay, so if we swap that out there... Ah, right, okay. So Chappie, Logan Smith of Cupboard Squad now has an assault rifle. I mean, he looks like the type of person that would be using a, a, an assault rifle. He looks sort of, you know, battle-hardened and stern, does Logan Smith. Okay, right, so Logan Smith, you can go all the way over here, look, to that kind of thing there. Hang on a minute, I don't think I did that correctly. Right, Cupboard Squad and Logan Smith, head out over there, please. And then you lot here can go just there. Just check that building across the way. Okay, and then everybody else is scavenging, chopping down trees, all that kind of stuff. Maybe gather some more wood from over there, possibly. That could be handy. Chief, we found some seeds in one of the buildings. It looks like grain. There were some farming tools as well. Maybe we could use this to start cultivating the land again. Okay, that's going to bring it in. We should have a place where we can cook meals for our citizens. That will make our people much happier too. Okay, five fields and a cookhouse. Oh, now we're talking. Okay, I mean, that looks like a good place to put fields. In there looks like a very good place to put fields. Um, put ourselves a defensive tower thing just here to look after the fields. And maybe that'd be quite useful. Okay, hang on. So gather wood, get rid of that. Um, and then a wooden tower is only 10. So if we put a tower there, that would cover our fields. And then... Where is that? So there. So there. Field. Okay. So how big are the fields? Oh, not even that big. Not even that big. Okay. So we'll have one, two, three, and four. And then we'll put one just there. Boop. There we go. Out of basic tools. Okay. Never mind. That's fine. We'll work through that. That's all good. And then... Yes, if we then go to defensive tower things, put a tower just here, 
that should keep the fields nice and safe. And that'll give people loads of stuff to do. That'll keep people very busy. Uh, oh, we found loads of tools. Hang on, we need to drop them off, look. So there's loads of stuff in there and tools and food and everything else. Right, drop all that stuff off. This lot can all just sort of get on with the field stuff. Come back over here, pick up all that stuff, drop that back off HQ, and there we go, pick all the stuff up. Oh, crikey. We've got so much stuff. Uh, oh, hello. Sir, we just found a car that looks salvageable. Let's try to make it run again. Who found a car? Where is that? Hang on. <laughs> Whereabouts is that? How did you find that? It's a bajillion miles away. Who's got the best eyes in the world? Because that's quite some distance, isn't it? Right, they're over there searching that building. There are some, yeah, there's some zombies in there. Do we want to go and get rid of them in that building? It's a little bit near to us. It's a little bit near. Okay, right, hang on. First things first. I kind of feel like we're being pulled pillar to post. Um, come out of that. Let's get all this done. So you lot have dropped those things off. Now head back over here again to transport some tools and some seeds. Actually, we could pick them up in one go, can we? Nope. Tools and a few. There's nine. Nine lots of seeds. Oh, crikey. Okay. If you look could get a bit of a chip on, that'd be grand. Because we're going to be here for ages doing this. <laughs> there we go. Just kind of ship resources. Why can't the workers do this now? Why can't the workers do all this? But okay, never mind. Right, let's just get that done. Let's put time nice and quick and just do lots of kind of moving of stuff. There we go. Wonderful. Right. Okay, so now they've got all that. We'll go just there. Give that building a search. I think some trees fell down. How are the other lot doing? How are Cupboard Squad doing? Is that done? 100%. Ah, okay. Do I know we have found scientific materials. Okay, right. So bring that back to HQ. Absolutely. Get that back home, please. And it is getting quite late. So if you lot could, you know, sprint or whatever, get a bit of a wriggle on, that would be marvellous. Don't get caught out here at night time. That would be quite bad. Okay, new transmission. We need a workspace where we can experiment and re-engineer all the pre-pandemic technology. We could store all the books there too. Let's build a research centre and assign the most technical minds there. Okay, that does sound quite good. I think everybody is back home. Uh, hang on. But both of our sort of fighty squads are inside this building. So who's got the assault rifle? Uh, cupboard squad. Right, cupboard squad, you head out into there. So you go into the tower. That tower's not quite done yet, but they will get They're working on the fields, look. It's taken a while to get the fields done. That's okay. So they're in the tower and geek squad are over here in the building. Oh, hang on a minute. I heard a voice. I think somebody's saying, hey, everyone get back in. Let's call it a day. Right, so run time on nice and quick. It's all going to grey out. Horde spotted. Yeah, we do. They're going across our fields. Stop squishing our crops. Don't trample our potatoes or whatever it is we're growing. I'm not quite sure. We do need to maybe go and sort that building out. If that does have some zombies living in it, maybe we should possibly go and kill them. Oh, there's quite a lot of zombies down there now. There's quite a lot of them need help. Man down. Oh, no. Somebody's died. Oh, no. Okay, right, hang on. We need you guys to go in and do some fighting. Attack. Go on, Geek Squad. Start shooting at them. Oh, why didn't you shoot at them before? Okay, we're a person down. Oh, no. Oh, and Tyler Nelson doesn't look very well either. Okay, hang on. Replenish. So, ah, they go back up. Okay, they're wandering about at night time. Probably not great, but there we go. Right, knit back into here. Can you heal up a little bit, Tyler Nelson? Right, they've talked up Joe Russell. Joe Russell is now the person we're going to be looking for to do some shooting of zombies. Um, okay, are there any horde around? Can we see any zombies? Horde spotted. Okay, remain in here. Whereabouts? All the way up there. No, they're okay. Um, maybe then, Geek Squad, head out to here because you're all at full health and you guys remain in there. Okay, so yeah, Cubber Squad need a bit of time to heal up. We've got an injured person there. Okay, so we've lost a person. We've lost one person. Oh, that's a bit sad. That's a bit sad. I didn't want them to get killed, but there we go. Right, run time on. Hordes spotted. Oh, two hordes. Okay, these guys are chipping in, though. These guys are helping, which is good. I mean, yeah, we could potentially... We've got four more guns. We could potentially get another squad set up. And then put them over here, look, to do some more shooting. Um, need help. Another horde spotted. Good grief. It is coming up to five o'clock in the morning, which is generally 
when all of our workers sort of, you know, crawl out of bed and go and do some stuff. It's way too early, way too early. But I imagine at five o'clock, all these zombies are going to clear off. So, um, yeah, they're kind of over there. I mean, yeah, the map is big. Look how big the map is. All these different kind of locations and things. I mean, we've started over here. If we could have started here, that would have been brilliant. Look at how many shops there are. <laughs> it would have been okay for food for ages. But, okay, we've started over here. That's fine. That's what we're dealing with. Right, okay. So you lot... Go and check that building out, if you'll be so kind. You lot, maybe nip into there, because there's ammunition in there. So grab the ammunition from here, and then drop it back off at home. Can you not just find an easier doorway? Um, I think they just take the ammo. I think they just top it up. Okay, right. And now, check the buildings around our little kind of farming site. Because that would be quite bad if these were full of zombies. But yay, look, farms! And 5,000 zombies came out of here and ate all of our, well, I mean, crops and brains would be bad. So maybe just give that a little check in there. That'd be quite good. Uh, come out of there. Uh, right, adapt a building into a research center. Okay, how do we do that then? Shelter, is it other? Research center. So um, yeah, a bit of wood and a bit of metal. So what if we were to do that? Seven wood and nine metal. We've got, we've got a decent amount of those, actually. So maybe, yeah, we make this our little kind of, our little base of operations. Unless we put it there. Maximum, ah, maximum scientist three, though. Yeah, that can be science land. That's going to be our science building. It's going to be exciting and wonderful there. Right, that lot, I think, have finished over there. They found some ammunition. That's not a bad thing. So knit back over there. And then, yeah, we'll cover this area here. Because we've got some more buildings here that we've not looked at yet. So... Yes, yeah, so if we could do that, that would be wonderful. So just keep exploring around here. That'll be done. So yeah, vehicle. We've got to do that as well. We are working on a field. That field is done. Okay, right. So now build a cookhouse. Okay, so turn another one of our buildings into a cookhouse. I like I like the repurposing of the buildings. That's quite fun. I like that. So you can kind of switch things around and go, do you know what? That building there, that's now going to be our cookhouse. I mean, that one there was pretty good. Next to the fields, next to the HQ, that makes sense. So, well, yeah, 14 wood and 6 metal. We should have enough. Right, so that can be science. That can be food. That's where we grow stuff. Uh, everybody looks a little bit... Are they working fields? I think those people there are now working the fields. So have we got some farming people? Yeah, we have. Okay, and two guards, apparently. We've got two guards. Do guards... Oh! Oh, okay, we've got guards in the wooden towers. Oh, it comes with guards, and we can just put our people in there, and they do some more shooting. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, that's quite handy, I suppose. If we could get that built, that would be wonderful. Um, Have we got any builders? Have we got any builders? 11 out of 16. 14 out of 16. Um, 12 unemployed people. Yeah, where are the builders? Oh, they're just kind of hanging around. Oh, they're working on these, look. They're working on those. Can we build a defensive tower, please? Can we get that done? Because <laughs> that'll be really useful. I got some food. You guys have dropped that off. So you guys come over here. Okay, right. I think get the cookhouse done. Get the research thing done. Start doing some basic research stuff. And then we'll go and look at the vehicle. But I think, yeah, I want to clear this area out first. Just make sure it's nice and safe for our people. Incoming transmission. What's happening? So the people have reported hearing a lot of noises coming from underground. They're afraid that it could be the infected moving through the sewers and tunnels. We need to bolster our defences and be ready for an attack from within as well. Not important. Let's prepare. I mean, what kind of person would we be if we just went, nah, it's not important. No, let's prepare, shall we? I don't quite know how. Does that give us a new goal? Um, okay, so does that mean zombies could potentially pop in from underneath? Can they just pop up anywhere? Because that would make life a little bit tricky. Um, these buildings are okay. So let's go and drop the food off over there. Food is looking painfully low. So drop the food off. I'm sorry, everybody. It's tins of food again. I do apologise. Um, and then, maybe, where was... Was there another shop nearby? There's another science-y place. Um, hang on. I swear there was another shop. Did we not see another little kind of foodie shop icon? Can we zoom out a bit more? Um... No. A lot of question marks. Not much in the way of shop. There's some fuel down there. Loads of shops down here, look. Must be like a little sort of shopping parade type thing. Although, it is getting late. 
So we don't really want to start going too far away. Maybe for now, nip down to here and then you guys nip into there because that's got medical supplies, which could be useful. That tower is nearly done. That's going to be very good. Okay, so we'll get some more guards in on that. That's going to be wonderful. Okay, don't cry. Get a time ticking on a little bit quicker. Um, okay, all the workers have gone in. Those two buildings are clear. So if you lot go back over there. Oh, hang on a minute. You lot go back over there. So Geek Squad in there and Cupboard Squad into there, please. And we'll see what we can do with that. But yeah, you've got... They've got some ammo, which is good, and some food. They've got... Ah, medical supplies, drugs. Okay, that's quite handy as well. Okay, so another night. So we're halfway through, I think, aren't we? So when it gets to midnight, we'll be halfway through. I think we're doing okay. I think we're doing okay. Little bit concerned about the amount of zombies coming toward us. Um, hopefully, yeah, we can pick them off. Are these guys shooting as well? Can you guys attack the zombies, please? Uh, because you don't seem to be doing anything. If you could attack them, that'd be great, wouldn't it? Uh, oh, don't go out and attack them. No, shoot through the windows. <laughs> I think they are. I think, yeah, that building is doing some shooting. Okay, this is good. So pick them off. Now there's a horde coming in from this side. Oh, there's loads of them. There are so many. Okay, right, there are many, many, many zombies. Okay, shootity shoot. Killity kill. Uh, that's another horde done. And hang on, we are prepared. Oh, there's some... Why are you outside? Who stood outside? Maybe they don't go in the tower. Do they not go in the tower? Okay, run away into here. Okay. They're, they're, oh no, which squad was that? Okay, Cupboard Squad are down. Cupboard Squad are down. We've lost Cupboard Squad. You lot need to get out here and do some fighting pretty much immediately. We've lost Cupboard Squad. Okay, maybe Cupboard Squad don't go in the towers. Maybe they don't go in the towers. Okay. Lesson learned. Uh, don't, don't do what I just did because that's a terrible plan. Okay, everybody inside buildings, not the towers. The towers fend for themselves. You can shoot from inside the buildings. Oh, Cupboard Squad. <laughs> Never mind. At least all their things are still there. I'm sorry, Cupboard Squad. I've let you down. Right. Shoot a t shoot. What does that mean? What does that mean? It's under attack, possibly. Is the main building under attack? Oh, they're climbing the walls. They're climbing the walls. Oh, no. It's only three o'clock. We've got a couple of hours to survive yet. The zombies are getting really feisty. Away with you, zombies. Stop it. Leave us alone. Um, we might be okay. Okay, right. Create a new squad. Um, let's call them, um, let's call them, <laughs> uh, I don't know, Betty Squad. Because, uh, Betty is important. Uh, if somebody in this team is called Betty, that'd be amazing. Angela, Dylan, Laurie, and Alexander. Okay, Alexander looks a little bit Gordon Freeman-esque. That's exciting. Um, right. We need to go and pick up all those things. So where are we? So hang on a minute. Yeah. Betty Squad, how do we pick up all those things? How do we grab all of that? Um, you can start looking around here. Yeah, go and check that building out. That'd be good. But yeah, how do they go and pick up all those items? Do we just sort of... Ah, these walk onto them. Okay, right. Bring them back over here then. And then go and pick up the rest. Oh, dearie me. I do apologise, Cupboard Squad. I'm very sorry. It wasn't intentional. Okay, new transmission. Chief, if we deconstructed some buildings, we could acquire some wood, metal and bricks for other constructions. We would have some more space for other constructions as well. Or just a clear line of fire. Hello? I mean, yeah, that does make sense. Okay, deconstruct some stuff then. Deconstruct a building. I mean, maybe. Get rid of that one. How do we do that? It was there, wasn't it? Yeah, deconstruct that building, please. So yeah, get that done. Building can complete. Uh, ah, the watchtower's done. Okay, that's good. So that watchtower is done. We're still working on the other stuff. How are we looking for resources? Not much in the way of wood. Okay, so possibly go and gather some wood. There's a little bit over there. There's a tree there we can have, and then maybe some trees over here. So if we gather some wood from over there, that wouldn't be a bad shout at all. Okay, right, you lot, I think, have picked up all the stuff, so drop all that stuff off, please they've got some food bring that back because food is looking a little bit low and you guys head out to where can we put you over here look maybe cover those three buildings that could be useful that could be handy ah we've got a science building research basic antenna technology okay the research button was here oh there's a research tree going on okay that's exciting so we can do chemistry i mean arms production would be quite useful 
We need, ah, we need five lots. Okay, so the stuff we find, we then invest into this. So it's one bit of research. We've got three, is that? It's blurred out. I think we've got three. Oh, two. There we go. So, um, yeah, so we've got two. So we can unlock the secrets of a basic antenna. Start that research, please. I don't know how long that's going to take. I'm not entirely sure. We shall find out as time ticks on. Right, you guys, Geek Squad, maybe head out to these buildings. In fact, do you know what? Go there. What do we get from a little kind of sort of, you know, car workshop mechanic garage type thing? That'd be handy. Right, that building is clear. Check the one next door, please. That'd be useful. We're taking that apart. We're building that. We're working on the land. We're chopping down trees. Everything is looking good. We are being very, very productive here. Okay, that car place, they found entirely nothing at all. Brilliant. Okay, right. Work along here then. That building looks quite big. So maybe there'll be some good stuff in there. How are you guys doing? You found a few bits and bobs. So maybe drop that off back at headquarters because that's food. That's going to come in handy. And some ammunition as well. I think maybe, yeah, look, we can get another squad. I think we get ourselves. Oh, no available workers. Ah, oh, botherations. Okay, we can't have another squad. Um, I would like to dish out the assault rifle, though. That'd be a good idea, wouldn't it? You lot, get back in there. Hang on. Right, so you lot. Um, how do we... How exactly do we swap things out? I'm not entirely sure how we do that. Because I can see that, look. I can see that we've got... Hang on, time is paused. Yeah, I can see we've got that there. But I can't see how we issue that as an assault rifle there. How do we give that out? How do we tell somebody to use that? I'm not entirely sure. Do we have like a sort of a squad management thing. Okay, ah, hang on. There's a thing here. What's this? Okay, hang on. Who is it? Which squad is it? Betty squad. Okay, so Betty squad. How do we how do we give you things, Betty squad? I don't understand how we give you things. How I want somebody to have the big shooty gun because it looks really useful, but I don't know how to dish that out to you. I'm not entirely sure. There is the big shooty gun, but I can't work out how to actually get that done. Oh, repair. It might be worth repairing the main building as well, because that does look a little bit sort of broken. Okay. Um, plenty of work to be doing. Right, you lot, I don't know how you assigned the shooty gun. I'm not entirely sure how we dish that out. So, um, lunchtime, head over to there. That's quite a big building, and it's nearby. Might have some good stuff in it. Oh, we've done our antenna research already. Well done, researchy people. Now we are ready to build an antenna. Once it's operational, we will be ready to receive distant transmissions again and broadcast something ourselves. Okie dokie. Right. Get that in as soon as possible. Get that in very soon. There we go. Antenna. 20 bits of metal. Okay. If we put it in here, look. Or do we put it there? So it's kind of near to our main building and one of the towers. Let's put it there like that. And then if we could... Um, where's the defence things? Yeah. Wooden palisade. I mean, maybe, could we get, um, we can shoot from here, can't we? We can shoot from that building. What if we blocked that bit off over there? What if we just block that off? How do we rotate that? Um, is it half a rotate? How do we rotate this? Uh, definitely not like that, because that made it disappear. I kind of want it to go not that way. Place many, don't snap, cancel... It's facing the wrong way, game. <laughs> I can't see a rotate button anywhere. Uh, is it a mouse wheel? We must be able to build fortifications not in that direction, surely. <laughs> That's a bit silly. Hang on, hang on. There's got to be a way to turn it around. There's got to be a way. Um, don't snap is control. Um, I don't I don't know how to turn it around. <laughs> uh, okay, right. Do you know what? It's fine. It's fine. What we'll do is... Um, we'll put a palisade there, maybe, to stop them coming through that gap. That might be quite handy. Although it looks like we might need possibly a couple, because I don't know if that's going to fit. Um, yeah, if we put one... Oh, hang on a minute. One... Uh, oh, we sort of build it and stretch. Ah, I see. I thought it was a fixed thing. Nope, I get it. I get it, game. That's absolutely fine. I get it. Right, so across there... Okay, not across there, then. Why can't we build there? Why can't we build a wooden palisade there? Ah, like that. There we go. So like that. Just build that. Fill that in. Because we haven't got a palisade yet. And it kind of just feels like we should have one there. And then really, it would be quite good to build one across 
here. We could take that building apart. We could get rid of that. Get loads of resources from that. But keep that one there. So we can build a little wall just there. That might be useful. Okay, well, hang on a minute. So draw a thing. Um, okay, like that. No, okay, no. I, it's a bit... I want to get it so it's as close as it can be to the... To the thing. Why can't we do... Oh, I just want it to fit into a gap, really. That's a bit... That's a bit fiddly. It's a little bit fiddly, this bit, game. Uh, like that. No, like that. No, can we just move it in like that? But how... But there's a big gap at the side of the palisade. So how useful is that going to be? Just, we'll just leave that there. Yeah, sure, they can just run under there. <laughs> Maybe we're supposed to build and like not link it to buildings. Maybe that's what we're supposed to do. I've got no idea. Okay, right. I want to get the cookhouse done. Can we please make an effort to work on the cookhouse? Because that's been going for ages. So yeah, let's get that done, shall we? Move time on... Oh, hang on, we're not move time on that quick because you guys aren't doing anything. You guys, drop your food off because that'd be good. Drop your food off. I'm going to gonna let go of the food there, guys. Nope, they're just going to hold on to that food forever. Um, where's the other squad? Where's Betty squad? Ah, they're over there. They've also picked up some stuff, including fuel, I noticed, which is good. Right, so come over here, look. Um, maybe... Oh, I see a problem. Maybe... Maybe we can't drop anything off at the headquarters whilst it's being repaired. So hang on, how near are we to completing this building thing? Building... Ah, building adapted. That's good. We've got the cookhouse. Six people work there, turning grain into actual proper food. We've got bread. Hey, we've got bread. Okay, good. <laughs> Everything is brilliant. We've got some bread. Marvellous. How near are we to dismantling that building? Can we drop that down a bit and get some people on this? That'd be great. Um, okay. Are our people indoors? On my way, are they inside? I think our two teams are inside. Okay, right. This is good. This is good. Maybe if we put those guys over there, they can shoot at zombies if they come from this direction because they shoot out the windows and they don't need to go in the towers because that's not how it works. Right, okay, end of day five. It's all going to go grey. Let's see if we can survive the ever-increasing ferocity of the zombies because, yeah, of course, as time goes by, they're getting trickier and all that kind of stuff. Although, no zombies spotted so far. Nice, peaceful day. Oh, there we go. I spoke too soon. Horde spotted. Not quite sure where. Oh, crikey. Okay. There are many. There's one over there. They're coming toward the base. That's okay. It's the HQ. And these guys here are being picked off. It is damaging the tower, potentially. But I think the tower is shooting at them. So the tower, I think, is going to be okay. It's not falling down just yet. It's getting a little bit damaged. It's got loads of hit points. Okay. So the tower's going to be fine. And over here... I think they're dealing with that slowly, but surely. Horde eliminated. Wonderful. Right, that's that done. Another horde coming in. That horde is now dead. I think, yeah, look, they are able to shoot at the horde. If that building wasn't there, that would be better. Um, is that another horde spotted? There's another one over there. Crikey's okay. Move time on a slight bit quicker. Um, we're okay. So I think there's something weird going on there. I don't know what's going on there. People are running in and out of buildings. Not quite sure, but okay. That tower is taking a little bit of a kicking. We could do with maybe claiming one of these buildings, turning into a shelter, and then putting our people into here. Because the zombies do tend to come in that way, which is a bit of a nuisance. Right, okay, we'll see what we're doing. So very soon it's going to be getting up time. It's going to be getting up time in no time at all. There we go. Right, everybody wakes up. Right, the base, I think, is um, is damaged. I think, yeah, the headquarters is damaged. So repair the headquarters, please. Three people on that. That shouldn't take too long at all. It's only a slight bit of damage. And then repair that, because that is quite damaged. And, oh, hang on a minute. Transmission. Hello. So winter is coming. Oh, brilliant. The days will be shorter and the farms won't produce any more food. We should brace ourselves. These might be the hardest days of the year. Okay, prepare for winter. That's going to be gather food, is it? Um, oh, no, I thought we'd get a, um, I thought we'd get a goal for that, but no. Right, okay, so if food, oh, look at food. Food is looking depressingly low. Okay, right, get over here and look at that, and you guys get over there and look in there. We need food, and lots of it, please. It might be worth travelling slightly further afield to these buildings 
to grab some food from there because we know they've got food in them. But on the way, we'll just check these out as well because, you know, who knows what's in here? It might be really handy. Okay, they've both found lots of stuff and in fact, they are automatically returning back to the base to drop it all off. So they found food and fuel and some ammunition and they, oh, they found a load of food. And there's some more food back over there, look. Okay, that's really good. That might well have just saved us there. That's really handy. And you lot, yes, you can have a walk over there, look. Bit of a lengthy trek, but that's okay. So you can go over there. That's all wonderful. Can we create... Ah, we can create a new squad. We can create a new squad. But do we really need one? I think if we make a new squad, we've got less builders to do stuff. Have we got any metal got 33 metal how long is it taking to get rid of that building my goodness me put three more people on that it's taking forever to get rid of that building can we hurry up <laughs> been here all week nobody's on that and a few people i think most people are over here dismantling that thing hang on we've got no unemployed people so we've got oh yeah we've got three scientists Do you know what drop down to one scientist because we're not doing any research right now because we don't need to um yeah, we've not got enough to do any of that. And that research is complete for the prologue. Okay, right. That's all good. That's all good. Right. So hopefully, very soon, we should be able to get some more people doing a few more bits and bobs. They've got some food. Drop that off back at base. And we'll just keep an eye on these guys to make sure they're okay. They appear to have completely stopped in their tracks. Not quite sure why they're not going to that building. Maybe. Can they not get there? Can they not go? Oh, because the game's paused. Hang on. Un unpause the game spacebar isn't pause anymore why is why is spacebar not pause unpause there we go yeah go there look okay spacebar just decided to not be paused there for a second that was a bit worrying yeah if we could just deconstruct that building just get that done don't worry about that one cancel that command we'll be there all week doing that so just take this one apart please you've been working on that for a long time so yeah get that done and how are you guys over here Hopefully finding lots of amazingly useful things, but mainly food. Food would be good. Cans of anything. Okay, they found four cans of food and they've left one behind. And also, hopefully, they found some tea as well. Hopefully, there's a little bit of tea lying around. That'd be quite good, wouldn't it? Right, you lot. Can you guys... In fact, it is again a bit late, isn't it? It's a little bit late in the day and you've got a couple of days left. I think we need to really focus on building the antenna. That's one of our big things. I think then, tomorrow... Yeah, you guys can stay home. In fact, you guys nip across here, look. You guys can go over there. They're making their way home. So what we'll do is we'll try and get that done. That's taking so long. That's been like the biggest drain of our resources. Maybe we should have picked on a slightly smaller building. I didn't realise how long that would take. So we'll try and build the antenna. But if we survive the night, we'll try and go and get that vehicle because that's another goal that we haven't sort of looked at yet, which would be quite good. Where do you guys think you're going? No, no, no. <laughs> no, 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 not at this time of night. You're not going over there. Back in here you go, thank you very much, so you don't get zombied to death. Right, here we go, look. Shooting at the tower. The tower is okay. Ah, oh, yeah, look at that. That tower is taking a bit of a kicking down here, although it is quite strong, which is good. So, yeah, these guys are able to fire at them as well, to help the tower out. Wonderful. Okay. Let's get time ticking on nice and quick. Just try and fly through the night as best we can. It's good if they come that way. That's handy. Because then everyone can shoot at them. And the zombies get killed a bit quicker. Nice quiet bit. Look at that. Oh, this is okay. Horde spotted. No, look at this. Nice and easy. There's a horde over there. A few kind of milling around. But they're not coming toward us. Which is welcome. There's one over there. No, there we go. All done. I think... Yeah, it is winter now, isn't it? So I think, yeah, it's going to get lighter a little bit later in the day. So people are going to come out a bit later. But okay, there we go. So people back on the fields. And these guys are back dismantling this thing. Okay, so Betty Squad, we want you to go to that car. Wherever the car was, I've completely forgotten. Hang on, it was a bajillion miles away, wasn't it? Where was that car they found? Over here, look. Okay, so head to this car. So yeah, you guys head to there and see what you can do with that. And yeah, if the other guys could just work on deconstructing a building and then getting the antenna done in two days, that would be brilliant. That'd be very good. Uh, we've got two unemployed people left. Can we put them as scavengers? 
Just get them over here. Look, doing stuff. But could they go and chop down some trees or whatever? 77% of the way through. Come on. <laughs> get it done quicker. And these guys, do they need to go back over there and stock up on ammo? Because their guns are red. And I don't know what that means. There we go. Right. Stock back up on ammo. Um, you lot just keep searching buildings. Incoming transmission. Boss, we are running out of space for resources. We have to build a warehouse. Okie doke. Just another thing to add to the pile. Okie dokie. I want to get this done first. I want to get that building taken apart first. It's 10 o'clock. Ah, here we go. Oh, chief. We just found a dead animal. But the thing is, it was literally shred to pieces. It couldn't be just some ordinary infected. There are teeth marks on, on some of the skin and it looks like dog teeth. Okay, so there are now infected animals as well. Is that what I'm taking from that? Oh, good. Right, these guys are nearly at the car. So if you lot pop over here, have a look at the car. Hope it's got the keys in it and search. And yeah, where con? Maybe some nice fluffy dice. Sir, we spotted some people probably armed. Uh, they could have seen us too. I can't tell if they're friendly. What should we do? Treat them as hostile. Approach friendly. Avoid them. Let's approach them as friendlies. They might be friendly. Um, wow, well, crikey, transmission, another one. Um, I've missed driving so much. This will help us speed up our scavenging and we can run over the infected if they get too close. Oh, right, they're now in a car. Okay, that's good. They're still scavenging. Uh, hang on, where's the other squad? Right, they're now in a car, which means they can bring back more stuff. There's loads of room in the car. Right, can you go over here then? And do they literally just drive the car? Are they doing... <laughs> I mean, they drove it through a wall, but okie doke. Right. So they kind of drive it through buildings, which is a little bit strange, but okay. And then they load up the car with the stuff they find. Okay. Let's go on a bit of a shopping trip with them. Oh, okay. Ammunition. That could be useful, couldn't it? That could be handy. Okay. They're finding all that stuff. Chucking it in the car. Look, that's really good. That's great. Okay. Is that done already? Good grief. Okay. Um, how about check out that sort of gun store, I don't know, firearms place. That might be useful. That building is so nearly down. However, we have got these guys. Enemy group. Bother. Okay. Enemy spotted. Uh, right, you guys get into that building, please. Because these guys are here to cause trouble. We're going to shoot at them. Shoot at you, shoot. And I think they're legging it think they're running away. They don't like the tower. Oh, look at that. They're dropping things. They're dropping ammunition and weapons and all sorts. Okay, right, good. Right, drop that food off into there, please. Uh, that building has finally gone. Can we build this antenna? Can we actually do this? Because that would be brilliant. And that building there, can we turn that into a warehouse? 254 storage capacity. That sounds pretty good to me. Right, so another job, when you built the antenna, do the antenna first, so that's more important. Okay, Betty Squad have found quite a lot of ammunition and a couple of pistols, which is quite good. Uh, there's a nice shop there where you might be able to get some food. Oh, that's very, very quick. And some food over here as well, look. That's going to be handy, a couple of places there. It is getting a little bit late in the day, but they are in a car. They're in a car, so they should be able to possibly get home a little bit quicker. So we can leave them out a little bit later. But yeah, if we could grab food from in here, that'd be great. Although it looks like somebody's already pretty much picked that clean. Because I don't think we've got anything from there. That's a bit disappointing. Um, okay, maybe, maybe head back. Oh, go there, look. Nope, that's, that's not the right thing. Go like that. Where are we? Ah, we just are down the road from them. Okay, that's fine. So stop here on the way home. Just nip in, pick up a pint of milk, you know, get some chocolate or whatever, get some bread. And yeah, look at that. Stocking up on more resources. This is brilliant. Okay, they're back in the car. And then bring them back. Crikey, hang on a minute. Click on there. <laughs> there we go. Bring them back home. Drop off your stuff. They're driving in the weirdest security route. Oh, because we've blocked the route, is it? Have we blocked the route with the thing? Okay. How are we doing with the antenna? We, we've not decided to build it yet. Okay. We decided to do that instead, did we? Okie dokie. Can we please put many people onto building the antenna? Thank you very much. We've got plenty of materials to get it done. Right. Okay. Here we go. Oh, hang on a minute. Where are the others? They're in that building there. Let's put them back into that building there. Um, and then, yeah, these guys can go into that building. 
Okay, and then the car's parked up outside. Brilliant. Okay, let's hope we don't get attacked by any zombies because these guys are outside and undefended, which is not great. Um, okay, I just heard a terrifying noise. Terrifying zombie noise. There are some over there, look, hanging around. Incoming transmission. Okay, this isn't this isn't Boa. Chief, did you hear that? I did hear that. I, I did, It wasn't fun. Uh, there must be hundreds of them. I have a bad feeling about this. No, I didn't. Let's get ready. Okay, get ready, everybody. Things are about to get difficult. Uh, okay, right. Run time on a bit quickly. Um, it's snowing, which is good. We could go out there and make some snowmen, some zombie snowmen. Um, right, hordes have been spotted, but oh, hang on, hang on. Down here. Oh, no. Oh, the tower. The tower is going to take a bit of a kick in. The tower's... The tower's taking a lot of damage. That building is taking damage as well, I think. They're doing okay at fighting them off. Look, hang on. You guys, can you get in the car? Is that what you can do? How, how do we get in the car on these? Can we get in the car? I don't know how we actually get in the car. Um, I want them to get in the car... Because then we can run these guys over. Or do we just put them into there, look? Cross the road because they need some help, look. That tower is going to be completely destroyed. And that's going to leave us a little bit helpless. So if we could sort of pick these guys off a little bit quicker, that'd be great. There's lots of them. Although they are distracted with the tower. So yeah, they've not come over here to kill us. No ammo. Okay, you guys cross the road. Get some ammunition from over there. That's going to be great. So you stock up on ammunition. Back over here, please. These guys are probably going to run out as well. The tower. Oh, no. What's that? Oh, no. Zombie. Oh, zombie dogs. There are some infected dogs incoming fast. Engage or run. Okay, engage. Um, The tower isn't looking good anymore. <laughs> the tower's looking a little bit rickety. I suspect maybe the tower's not going to... Uh, Oh, there's like 12 million dogs. <laughs> okay, right. The tower's gone. At least now they're getting nearer to us. So we can shoot them a bit more. That tower could also possibly chip in a bit. No ammo. Well, you've picked the perfect time for it, haven't you? Can you run back home? Can you get home quick? You're out and about with the zombies, but you've got no ammunition. <laughs> right, they're all dead. Horde eliminated, but so were four of our people, which isn't brilliant. Can we get, can we create a new squad? No available workers. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, right. We don't need a researcher. That's fine. We can now create a new squad with with one person. But they do have a, a machine gun. Okay. Um, we're going to call them um, machine gun squad. Oh, but I can't spell. Uh, squad. Machine gun squad. There we go. Right. Machine gun squad. Shoot at the zombies. Commence shooting at them. Oh, there's 12 bazillion zombies. No ammo. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear okay right hang on a minute we need some more people we need some more people take three people out there and then can we ah machine guns could have been topped up lawrence cook uh what's that uh larry perry and bet there is a betty <laughs> betty brown right okay betty's on the case it's all going to be fine we need to shoot at these guys okay get in the building get in the building and now we can start shooting at the zombies okay you guys Need to leg it across the road to stock up on ammo. Get across incredibly quickly. Get through the door. Shut the door behind you. Okay. Everyone just defend the HQ building. We are being swarmed. That build, the tower's going to go. That tower's going to go. Oh, there's so many of them. <laughs> we are, we are very unprepared for this amount of, amount of zombies. Oh, we never did get the antenna done. Okay, never mind. Maybe if we can just hold off, maybe, can we just go to the Winchester? Just, you know, go to the Winchester, have a pint, and wait for all this to blow over. Can we do that? There's quite a lot of zombies. <laughs> There's so many of them. I mean, our walls are nice and strong, so you can climb up them. But my goodness me. Um, okay, horde spotted, horde eliminated. There's five hordes on us now, I think. I think they're trying to get in through the windows. The building is... It's taking some serious damage. We need to kill them significantly quicker than this. Do more killing. Do more killing of the horde, please. Oh, there's some more coming in. Brilliant. <laughs> um, yeah, the headquarters building is looking very, very damaged. We're on our final day. If we could just make it through the final day, we'd be okay. Uh, yeah, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Shoot these guys. Get rid of these weak ones. Take the weak ones out first. There you go. Another one down. Building integrity is holding. 
These guys are being picked off as well. This is wonderful. Uh, oh, there's all sorts of ammunition, everything lying around. <laughs> oh dear. Right, there we go. Horde eliminated. And very soon I think we're going to be able to go outside and deal with the disaster that that was. Oh dear. Oh no, not another horde spotted. They can clear off. Away with you, horde. Right. Okay. Let's let everybody come back outside. Incoming transmission. Uh, boss, it's been a rough night. Something must have made the infected extremely bloodthirsty. If more and more come, our chances will be really low. We will show them. We will prevail. We will hide. <laughs> I mean, we will hide is the accurate answer. We'll prevail or we will show. We will prevail. Let's be inspiring. So I think this is the final day. So I imagine we're going to get through. Oh, there you go. There you go. We reached the end of the prologue. Okie doke. So eight days survived. We took five people in. We killed 504 infected and we scavenged 163 things. That wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad at all. It's a bit of a pity we didn't get the antenna thing done. That would have been quite fun to you know, send some messages out or whatever and see how that worked. But there we go, I suppose in eight days you can't do everything and it's supposed to you know, sort of whet your appetite for the full version of the game where you can go and do all that kind of stuff in any place you like on the world i imagine within reason probably but uh but yes there we go there we go we've come to the end of the prologue and i think we did okay oh there we go look yes yeah, so in the full version of the game you can play in any real location there are 40 buildings there's various infected types there are laws yes yeah, so you can sort of build laws into your society there's expeditions there are many different types of vehicles loads more weapons and all sorts of different events to deal with as well so quite a lot to do in the full version quite a lot going on i really enjoyed that i thought that was really really good that was a lot of fun and i quite like the fact that you weren't sort of just building new things you were repurposing existing buildings and then changing them into the things you needed so you know there's an empty house there clear it out make sure it's safe and okay and then turn it into a cookhouse i quite like that yeah we didn't really get too much into the whole sort of building of a uh, sort of a defensive wall and all that kind of stuff didn't really get round to that i think maybe eight days might be a little bit of a push to try and get all that set up but i think overall we did okay and i like that i do like that we might have to possibly pop back to that when it goes out into a sort of a other either early access or full release or whatever just pop back to it when it's a little bit more complete and we can play more than eight days because i would quite like to play northampton That'd be quite fun. Just, you know, deal with the zombie apocalypse in Northampton, get Northampton back on its feet again. That'd be quite fun. And then, yeah, just the laws and such like. I think we'll come back to this when it goes into the full version or, yeah, sort of more complete version. We'll pop back and see what we can do. But, yes, we've come to the end of the prologue version, so we shall wrap things up for the moment. Hopefully you did enjoy this because it was really good fun to play, so hopefully you enjoyed watching. If you did, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with all the other bits and bobs and nonsense that we get up to in the Geek Cupboard, as well as keeping up to date with Infection Free Zone when we return to it at some point in the future. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek cupboard and i'll see you next time kunik your time is now and you have missed kunik <laughs> this is this is unacceptable kunik and ash's caravan has been ambushed by man hunting chinchillas <laughs> are you gonna land on my potatoes <laughs> that is just not the done thing oh there's a lot of them one two three these guys have got amazing hair i'm delighted that we've actually done something and it's worked